Hello everyone, this is part three um, of my Botanica Bella adventure and let me tell you this is the centerpiece, this is the piece I love the most. Um, this, is the, this was quite a mini book, I became um, very passionate about it as I worked on it. Um, let's see, the binding is sort of interesting, it's, I don't know, it's kind of, um, as you can see, kind of long and skinny and I use some of my book binding techniques to create this spine and then I punch these holes through it because this is a paper bag mini album and you'll see as we go through one of the things that I've been really trying to think about and work on is making spines that are as wide as the book so that the book doesn't split you know splay out and um, this spine pretty much does that job so that's kind of cool um, these chipboard alba are um, Things. I think they're K and Company. Got them at Big Lots a couple of years ago, and they're really bright gold. And so I just took some stays on and rubbed them on there, and now they're beautiful, sort of distress gold. It's really kind of cool. This is that banana paper that I've been talking about all morning. Really, 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 really wonderful. I gotta talk fast. Oh my goodness, this is a big book. Um, wonderful banana paper and I had gotten the flower punch and I tried it out to make one of these flowers that everybody's making and I just love it. It's glimmer misted and it's got um, distress ink, uh, marmalade distress ink and these little flowers I got at Michael's out of the bridal section and they're so cool. Um, cheaper than the Primas. I'm all about cheaper. And this ribbon, oh, I love this ribbon. I'm going to run out of it soon, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to find more of it. I've got to look for it. Anyway, it's just sparkly and gorgeous. And there's some ribbon that I had, and I just put it across the front. And here's a little charm that I got off of a charm bracelet that I got at Target. Very cool. Okay, so then I open my book. And on this side, club scrap paper, uh, my road chipboard painted with my own homemade... Um, twinkling H2O's, that's what it is, um, that I made out of Prolex. This is just one of those, they're those daisy flowers and I had sprayed them with my homemade um, glimmer mist stuff. Um, I've got um, sort of a gold ones and green ones throughout. And then here is just a bit of bling and you pull this out and it's a tag that's just um, very simple. A little bit of ribbon and a journaling spot that is um, the Angel Company. On this side, the first page of my paper bag, the paper bags I tea dyed, and I made a bunch of tea dyed tags out of manila file folders and just some bling and a cutout from the cutout sheet. And you pull this out, and the tea dyed ribbon and some fiber and a little stamp, and then on the back, some of the design paper and some stamping. And um, there's my paper bag there really cute paper bags that I got locally. This tag has a kind of a folio thing where I used um, a Martha Stewart punch to create a border and there's one of my little glimmer misted uh, fabric flowers and you open it up and there's um, there's some stamping and as you can see I was talking about how when I did my tea dye I laid my tags on this uh, <clears throat> this um, thing with holes um, this cookie sheet with holes in it and it created this sort of design. It's almost like design paper. It's kind of cool. And there's the back, just some of the design paper and of course ribbon at the top tied on. Um, turn the page. This ribbon. Oh, local scrap store. It's so cool. It's just hard to describe. It's like mesh. Oh, it's wonderful. Um, one of my flowers just a design, uh, a design from the design paper cut out with a little bit of um, ribbon on the edge. This paper, oh, club scrap, it feels like rose petals. It's so neat. The texture is awesome. And then this flower is just another one of those punch flowers that I created. It's sort of the Tim Holtz Roxy combination. I think Roxy did it. I don't know who did that tutorial. I think it was Roxy. Anyway, um, some marmalade. It's from the design paper. Um, my tea dyed lace and a tag comes out. Lots of big tags um, in this. Some fiber design paper, little spiral clip, stamping on the back. Very, very distressed. Love it. This side, um, 
just cutouts from the design paper, some beautiful old buttons, and you pull this tag out, and it's got this ribbon. Really, really neat. And I had cut out some of the butterflies from the design paper and put crackle accents on them, and I've used them throughout. There's a spiral clip at the top there with fiber, and then some stamping. I think that's Studio G, just a cheap dollar stamp that I got at Michael's. Um, um, another one of these simple pockets and the design paper cut out with bling. And this is just the simple tea dyed tag with stamping on one side and design paper on the other. And here's another tag, really big tag. I loved it, how it said Botanica there, so I had to feature that and tore and edged it and stamping with a Stampin' Up stamp. And this is a Prima stamp, lovely little eyelash fiber and um, one of those fabric flowers. Um, beautiful, simple, distressed lace. This is a butterfly that I got from Allison in the kit swap. And this is a flower that I had been experimenting with my homemade glimmer mist and I had this paper and so I just punched it into flowers and it was laying around on my desk. And um, that's a circle from the design paper that I put crackle accents on. Looks not as cute. I think you can't see the design as well. But oh well, there we have it. Um, this is a flower from the design paper. I put crackle accents on the flower to feature it. Just some really beautiful um, ribbon and that paper. The rosebud paper. Oh, it's so wonderful. And I've been hoarding that forever, by the way. Like two years. Three years? I don't know. I finally took a sheet out of my stash. That's amazing. Anyway, <laughs> tea dyed tag. See those dots? Like polka dot design. And they're sort of random and cool. I just love it. And then um, stamping. And on this side, um, a felt flower that I had. And this um, was punched out of the design paper and there's some crackle accents and then some ribbon from Walmart that I distressed and then just some fibers on this end. Lots of fun. And then we turn the page and we have, um, this is just a Prima flower. I do have a few of those. <laughs> and some of my favorite ribbon that I'd used on the cover. Oh, I love this ribbon. I made little leaves out of it and then I put the butterfly on top. Um, and here is a tag, just some design paper torn and edged, and one of those little flowers, and some bling, and some lace, and a little stamp. That's a Studio G stamp. And then some stamping on the back with that same Prima um, flourish. And on this side, another pocket with the design tags, and the bling, and you pull this out, and oh, I love this dragonfly paper. It's so beautiful. And then the butterfly, and oh. This lace, or this ribbon, is just, it's sheer in the center, and it's got little rosebuds, It's and it's got the, it's wonderful. It's got the little um, scallops, and then lots and lots of Stampin' Up! Dragonflies stamped all over that. Design paper that I really loved, and just some fibers at the top, and you turn it over, and some stamping, and one of my little fabric flowers. And then on this side... Wonderful tag, used made into a pocket, and um, you pull this out, and there's some stamping there. And this is that design paper, and I just folded it into a folio, and I put um, one of my um, favorite journaling stamps. I love this journaling stamp. It's um, the Angel Company. I think it's retired. I don't know that you can even get that anymore. I think it was a special deal. Anyway, and a little bit of um, ribbon and a bling here in the corner. These just came from a Michael's Bulk thing, and oh, they're cool. Anyway, <clears throat> last page, made a pocket out of my um, rose petal paper, and then covered it with this wonderful um, uh, fiber, and then this is just a little tag tucked down here. And you pull on this, and it's a tag on a tag, so you have the tag with the pocket, and there's just, um, this is a tag from the design paper, and on the back just a bit of stamping, and the back of my book is very plain, except it has a beautiful paper. Oh, this book, I have, I just love it. I think it's, I think it's my best book yet. I made it, um, with the intention of putting pictures of my garden this year into it, and I just... 
I love gardening and we just had moved this last year onto an acre and we have horses and a giant garden and just all of the wonderful things um, that the country can provide for you. So I'm really excited to fill this book with memories of fixing my garden up and making it beautiful this year.